Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekaboo-kids-feedback at gmail.com Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Oh little kitty, it's been a couple of days now and your health doesn't seem to improve. I think it's time that we get you a vaccine shot. Oh no, vaccines? Scary! <laughs> hey friends, I know just like little kitty, most of you don't like to get a shot. But vaccines are very essential as they keep you from getting some serious diseases. So in today's episode, let us learn about this life-saving medicinal boon and answer a pinching question. How does vaccination work? Zoom in! So, what is a vaccine? Well, a vaccine is a fluid that helps your body to become immune to a disease caused by certain germs. But before we go more in depth into this topic, let us go back in time in the year 1796 to witness the story of a great scientist called Edward Jenner, who was known as the father of vaccinology. When he was a practicing physician, he noticed that women who developed cowpox, a skin disease, never developed smallpox. That could be due to the reason that the cowpox and smallpox viruses are from the same family. So he decided to experiment and injected some material from a cowpox virus into an eight-year-old boy called James Phipps with a hope that this will protect the people against the smallpox epidemic. And fortunately, it worked as the little boy was immunized against smallpox. And this is how the great vaccination process was born. But how did it work? Before knowing how the vaccines work, we need to learn about our immune system and how it protects us from deadly and not so deadly diseases with the help of an army of billions of cells. When an unwanted germ attacks your body, your immune system gets active and builds antibodies that destroy the culprit. But while they are fighting the evil germs, specialized cells called B cells and T cells are also recording and collecting the germs information into their memories. As building antibodies takes time, the memorization about the enemies comes handy when the same germ attacks again in the future. Now the body doesn't have to waste time building the antibodies and quickly takes action to easily defeat the enemies and in the process making you immune against the germy disease forever. But no matter how proficient your natural immune system is, it takes time to learn about the new enemy germs and build the antibodies to fight them. And that amount of time could be enough for the germs to cause enough damage to you that could be fatal. And sometimes the immune system gets weak and cannot fight the unwanted invaders. So what if we prepare ourselves in advance even before the enemy germ attacks you? And this is the method the whole system of vaccination is based on. Using the same natural method your body uses to fight the enemy germs, scientists have developed vaccines to fool your bodies into making memory cells and becoming immune to a disease. Well, one way of doing this is taking a tiny piece of a disease-causing germ 
or a dead or weaker version of the germ and injecting it into your body. These weak and unharmful versions of germs make sure that it doesn't develop into a full-blown disease. But just like the actual disease, they activate your immune system which teaches your body to build antibodies to fight against these germs and store their information into the memory cells. And when the nasty and stronger version of these disease-causing germs attacks you, your body is already prepared for it and quickly takes action against them and making you immune against that illness for the rest of your life. Pretty clever stuff, Mr. Edward Jenner. Trivia time! Did you know, in the past 60 years, vaccines helped eradicate smallpox and are close to eradicating polio? Also, not all vaccines are given as shots. Some vaccines are given orally. I understand getting a shot can hurt. But remember that they are your best shot for staying fit, healthy and wise. Kitty, it's time for your shot. Uh. Uh. Never mind. <laughs>